Welcome to episode two of Bar Silence. My name is Jameson, and I'm the host of the show. If you're new to Bar Silence by chance, this show aims to explore the very best video game music from past and present every single month. You can follow the show just about everywhere, too, so be sure to check it out on Twitter at Bar Silence VGM for cool posts and show updates. You can also listen to the show live on 8 Beats Radio the first Tuesday of every month at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So tune in to 8beats.co for other shows, DJ mixes, or just enjoy a 24-7 around-the-clock jam session of great VGM. We open today's show with Chase, composed by Kenichiro Fukui for the game Einhander on the original PlayStation. This game was released by Squaresoft, now called Square Enix, in 1997. Just two years earlier in 1995, Squaresoft had developed quite the reputation for their now legendary role-playing games that were all released on the Super Nintendo. You might know some of them. Games like Final Fantasy, Secret of Mana, maybe Chrono Trigger. Around this time, Nintendo was on the verge of releasing the Nintendo 64 and fully committed to releasing it as a cartridge-based system. For Nintendo, it was critical that their new system continued the immediacy of gaming without loading times. The competition, on the other hand, the Sega Saturn and Sony PlayStation, were going to be CD-based systems. For these two consoles, CDs were a less expensive medium in terms of production and offered much more in terms of storage, even if it came at the penalty of significant loading times. For Squaresoft, they were heading into new territory for video games at the time, especially with the scope of what they were trying to do with Final Fantasy VII. We're talking about pre-rendered backgrounds, cutscenes, huge worlds. All of this required storage. So CDs, for them, were the way to go. With their commitment to the PlayStation, Squaresoft gave themselves the freedom to embark on an experimental journey, releasing a lot of games that were atypical to what they were best known for. They released 3D fighting games like Tubal Number 1 and Number 2, Air Guys and Bushido Blade, as well as an action platformer in Brave Fencer Musashi. Einhander, on the other hand, is a 2D side-scrolling shooter with 3D models. It was pretty impressive, because the camera positions, while static to the player, swooped and panned in exciting ways. It was awesome to look at, and it made the game really stand out at the time. I have the pleasure of owning this game, and after recently replaying it, I can confirm that it's still unbelievably fun. But to be totally honest with you, it's also punishingly hard, even on normal mode. It's the frantic action that puts this game in the pantheon of shooters, and in classic Squaresoft fashion, had an actually unique story. It was more than just fighter pilot goes to shoot the bad guys and wins. It was totally different this time. They actually had a plot. But before I go on, we're going to listen to a few tracks from the game that really captured the vibe that this game went for. Underneath Us Now has been both Silence and Metempsychosis, and then we're going to follow that with Street, Warning, and then Badlands. So enjoy the next few tracks, and we'll be back right after that.
So, what's an Einhander? That's a question that some of us might be asking. This German word denotes a type of sword that's wielded with one hand. In the case with this game, it refers to the single manipulator arm on your ship that gets upgraded weaponry mid-battle when defeating enemies. The story of the game takes place in the not-so-near future of 2192, where a new city that's located on the moon called Selene becomes independent of Earth and has a powerful military of its own. And the Earth does not like that. The first moon war doesn't go so well. A good majority of the Earth ends up destroyed and a totalitarian regime takes over what's left. Fifty years later, tensions rise once again and the game places you in an Einhander during the Second Moon War. Your mission is to attack the capital city of Earth and do as much damage as possible in an attempt to turn the tides. Moon joke. It's a cool concept to portray Earth as the villains in the game, but are they really? Spoiler alert here on a 25 year old game, they are not. Even though your ship is capable enough on its own to do serious damage to the Earth's forces, the Hyperion which is a Selenian military satellite central computer, intends to destroy you if you manage to come back. Which of course is not ideal for the pilot, or the plot. Naturally, as any fully armed and successful Einhander pilot would, you end up heading back to the moon to take on Hyperion in the later levels of the game, and finally break the cycle of violence. Underneath us now has been both Ruins and Judgment, and for the next block of songs we're going to listen to Rebellion, which has a little bit of dialogue built in that's relevant to the story, and then we'll hear Breakthrough, Conflict, After Image, and finally Dawn. The next few tracks are a great example of some of the diversity in the soundtrack beyond everything being just hyper-electronic music focused solely on the action in the game. So enjoy the next block of tunes and we'll be back after that to talk about the composer. Received a telegram from Hyperion. You are committing a major act of treason. Remove your armament promptly, then surrender. Repeat. You are committing...
Music of Einhander was composed, arranged, and produced by Kenichiro Fukoi. As you can tell, it's heavily electronic with notes of progressive house and a little bit of vocal and orchestral work as well. Some would probably compare it to the band The Lords of Acid, and I would actually say that's a pretty fair assessment of the ravey post-industrial dance genre. The interesting thing about his work in this game is it's actually probably the first example of a techno-specific soundtrack from Squaresoft. Previous to Einhander, Kenichiro Fukui actually worked as the composer on Lethal Enforcers, G.I. Joe, and Violent Storm for the arcade. These games bear very little resemblance to what we have with Einhander, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. They're a little arcadey, but they're also very good. He later went on to produce music for Front Mission 5, Scars of War, and Project Silofeed, as well as working on arrangements for Final Fantasy VII, Advent Children. My favorite note about him, though, is that he's actually one of the founding members of the Black Mages. They're an instrumental hard rock band featuring Nobuo Uimatsu and Tsuyoshi Sakito, both of which are composers for various Square Enix games, and you absolutely have to look them up. It's definitely worth a listen if you haven't already heard their takes on Final Fantasy songs with absolutely shredding guitars. Now, for this final block of songs, we're going to listen to some of the heavier action themes in the game so you can hear this soundtrack at its best. First, we're going to listen to Factory, then Impatience, and last we'll hear Bloody Battle. So suit up and strap in, and I'll be back after that.
That's it! Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode of Bar of Silence about Einhander for the original PlayStation. If you want to interact with the show and tell me what you think, you can follow on Twitter at Bar of Silence VGM. That's where I post show updates and various information about the games that are featured in every episode. And if you've been enjoying the show, a cool thing to do would be to definitely tell your friends. Even cooler, you can post a review on Apple Music or head over to the YouTube channel and drop a comment there. And if you're really feeling giving, you can also support Bar of Silence on Patreon. So to play us out, I've got one more track from the game, it's called Shudder. It's a boss theme with some fast rap and lyrics that name drops horror icons like Jason, Michael Myers, and Freddy Krueger. It's a little bizarre, but it's extremely 90s. So enjoy this track, and I'll see you guys next time.
Achtung, Einhänder kommt. Drei Sekunden bis Kontakt.